Hi guys, welcome back. Maya from Simply Bloom. So I'm standing in my cut flower garden, still a mess. <laughs> um, I decided to just leave all my just cut flowers over the winter and it was so fun watching the birds just kind of feed off of them and it was just an, a food source. Oh my gosh, it was a food source for winter. I just saw something. What? It's the straw flower. I swear I've been out here so many times. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh. Straw flower survived winter. It dried perfectly. And here's some more. I don't know how I missed. These didn't quite fare as well, but that's crazy. So anyways, <laughs> cut flower garden, still a mess. So last fall, I planted daffodils, tulips, and alium bulbs in the cut flower garden. I wanted to plant them out in the landscape and in containers, but I just didn't get to it in time for the landscape. Living in a zone three, if I put bulbs in a container, they would freeze out. It's just too cold, so they need to be in the ground. So that's why I planted them in my cut flower garden. However, we are renting a bobcat and we're just gonna, the whole cut flower garden's at a slant and it makes it very difficult to water. All the water just like rushes to the bottom of the hill. So the stuff at the bottom, stayed almost like too wet the whole season and kind of rotted didn't do well and then the stuff at the top too dry so renting a bobcat hoping to just level everything and that will just kind of take care of the sunflowers and everything that's left but before I do that I need to dig up all the bulbs that I planted okay here's my alleums that I planted I can't remember the variety. I'll put it up on the screen. They're more of a supposedly a blue color. We'll see if it turns out as blue as it did in the picture. Oh, it's windy. Here are daffodils. And I think I might wait another week before I transplant those because they're still just popping through. We'll see. I, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Depends on how long the rest take. There's some right there are some, um, they were beautiful, like orange and burgundy colored tulips that I thought would look beautiful planted in front of a blue spruce that I have. And then right here I have 200, it sure doesn't look like 200, but there's 200 tulip blend that I got from color blends. And of course I can't remember the name, but it was like a pink and yellow and a gorgeous color. So I'll be digging those up as well. These two containers on either side of the horse statue are where I'm going to be putting the orange and burgundy because I think that orange would look so gorgeous up against this blue spruce. Um, it's a blue diamond spruce and it has a striking blue color. Uh, it gets 25 to 20 feet tall eventually, but I read this is an insanely slow, slow growing spruce. And then let me show you the other containers that I plan on putting the, it's windy, hopefully you can hear me, um, putting the 200 color blend tulips in. I'm hoping I can fit 100 in each, each barrel, but we will see. Okay, I have two whiskey barrels on either side of my deck, <laughs> some soil. I'm hoping I can fit 100 in each barrel if i just pack them out and it'll be a beautiful color display and then if i have any extras i don't know i might just plop them in the landscape right there on either side of the deck kind of balance it out so that's the plan i have some purple fountain grass that i need to find a shovel and dig out i was trying to pull it out with all my might and my husband kind of burned it down we were doing a barbecue and he just kind of torched it um, but those suckers root in so hard so i need to get a shovel so I'm gonna set you guys up and just start, start digging.
Okay, you guys, I just finished transplanting the tulips, so let me show you how everything looks. Okay, so I'm not sure how many are in each pot. So the, <laughs> there's that one that I planted up. And this one. So I had 200 of these bulbs. I think I got them about 50-50 split up, both about the same. And then I had a bunch of extras. Please ignore the messy deck. I need to obviously sweep, but these will look gorgeous as well, having kind of right next to the front, front door right there. And then I potted these two up as well. Please ignore that twine around the horse's neck. My kids love to ride it and that's the reins. Um, but those are the burgundy and orange ones, which again, I think will look gorgeous up against that blue spruce. And then I have this little planting area. I have a creeping phlox right here. That beautiful, just pink, what is that? Uh, emerald pink. And I'm hoping they'll be in bloom at the same time. Oh, dang it, I didn't think that through. I'm not sure how the pink and the orange and the burgundy will all go together. We'll see what happens. But that is it for this video. I still have the daffodils and the alleums to transplant. That will be a different day. Um, trying to decide on how I want to do the alleums because they're going into two new beds that I'm doing. I'm doing the no dig, no dill, no dig, no till method, which are also going to be having roses. So I want to decide if I want to just plant the roses first they should be arriving next week um plant those first and then lay down the cardboard and mulch or do the cardboard and mulch first and then cut a hole anyways i'm thinking let me know what you think i should do but that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i am so excited to finally be doing stuff outside again ah thank you for bearing with me <laughs> the last six months being a zone three gardener it's really hard to come up with gardening content during the winter time but that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.